Hi, I'm Becky with Home Handy. Today we're going to be talking about how to choose the right contractor and avoid getting scammed. Unfortunately, here in South Florida, particularly between Sarasota and Fort Myers, which is largely where we are based, since Hurricane Ian, there's been quite a bit of scamming going on down in Southwest Florida due to the hurricane. I don't know if it brought out the crazies or what, but I have posted a blog specifically about this topic and a few of my colleagues in the industry have as well. Some people find it easier to follow along on a video. I want to let you know that most of this information will also be down in the description below should you get a little bit lost or have additional questions. Okay guys, let's dig in to the top four things that you wanna look at before you select your contractor. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously determine the scope of your project. The thing that you want to have done in your home, does it require a licensed contractor or a regular handy woman or handyman? Well, the biggest deciding factor is going to be does this project involve changing the structural integrity of the house in any way? Guys, we're talking about plumbing, electricity, any structural changes to the interior or exterior of the home. If you need a licensed contractor, I'll address that in just a moment. Many of the baseline projects that you wanna have done on your home can be handled by a handy woman or handyman. Trying to determine though, what types of projects that handy people can handle, that can be difficult. So I'm going to put a list right here on the screen for you. Let's take a look through these. Now, I'm not gonna read through every single one of these. I will also post this in the description below so that you can click on the link and check them out for yourself. But what you see here is, in general, a handy woman or a handy man can perform just about any cosmetic repair or change that you need for your home. This does not include any structural repairs or changes. Now, let's discuss the projects that do require structural changes to your home. Again, we're talking any major alterations to your home or electric work or plumbing work, anything that's gonna require a specific license. The first thing that you're going to want and need to do is to be sure that the contractor that's looking at your project has a copy of their license or their license number that you can look up to be sure that their license is not expired. This is really critical. The other interesting thing about this that I've discovered from a few of my clients is sometimes they're not really sure, can an electrician, a licensed electrician, also swing doing, say, plumbing? Sorry, we can't do this sort of cross-licensing. There's only one contractor that can hold one license and really do any work on a home, and that's gonna be your general contractor. They go through extensive testing in order to receive that licensure, okay? So if you're gonna have a plumber do some work on your house, make sure they have a plumber's license. Now, in terms of handy women or handy men, in the state of Florida, we are not required to carry a license. It is suggested by the state that your handy woman or handy man come packed with years of skills and experience. So do your homework. Make sure that your handy person is well versed in the project that you're asking them to do. Now, let's take a look at number two. General liability insurance. This is a big one. People often confuse general liability insurance with workers' comp insurance. They are two very different things. So let's first take a look at general liability. I'm gonna read a quote for you here and I'll also put it on the screen. General liability covers a worker or company from claims by a homeowner involving bodily injuries and property damage resulting from the company's products, services, or operations. So what does this mean for you as the homeowner? 
This really protects you from any damage that happens to your home or any of the workers in your home or yourself from your products, services, or operations. This should protect you legally and financially from any issues that may come up during a service from a contractor, a handy person. It is really important that your service provider carry this general liability. Now, here's a little bit of an interesting piece of information. In the state of Florida, handy persons, whether it's a handy woman or handy man, are not required to carry general liability insurance if the projects that they are doing are valued under $2,500. That said, virtually every handy person that I know that is legit will carry general liability insurance because it's good business. It shows you as the homeowner that, they can, that you can feel safe and protected and secure in your investment in your home. And quite frankly, it protects the handy person as they are conducting their business. General liability insurance is required for all licensed contractors in the state of Florida. Most legitimate service companies will provide a certificate of general liability insurance to you upon request, and they are often at least $1 million, if not $2 million or over in coverage. All right, let's take a look at number three. Workers' compensation is, can be a little bit confusing for some folks but it really is pretty clear in the state of Florida. For sole proprietor handy people, handy women or handy men, they are not required by law to carry workers' comp. However, if they are a registered LLC, S-Corp, partnership, etc., they do have an option to exempt themselves from workers' comp. Any licensed contractors, including general contractors, are required by Florida state law to carry workers' compensation for themselves, their employees, and their subcontractors and or require their subcontractors to prove that they have workers' compensation. Guys, the workers' comp is based on a Florida law and it really is to provide medical benefit to the employee and or subcontractor who is on premises to make sure that they are medically protected should they incur an injury. There's always the potential if someone is injured in your home that your homeowner's insurance would need to take care of this. Now, guys, I already put the disclaimer in at the beginning. I am not an attorney. This is not legal advice. This is from information only. But what I will tell you is in the state of Florida, definitely if you have a licensed contractor in your home, make sure that they have workers comp for their people. Hey guys, before I get into the last awesome and critical tip, Please, if you're enjoying this video and you find some value out of it, would you mind please giving it the thumbs up, maybe hit the notification bell, and we can notify you when we have new videos out. All right, let's get on to the last tip. Uh -huh. Get references. Okay, I know that this seems like a no-brainer, at least to me it's a no-brainer. For years and years, if I've ever needed work done on my home, I'm not a licensed electrician. So if I need a licensed electrician and I don't know any in, in the area, I always, always require references, referrals, references from real human beings. Now, there's an opportunity for a scam here. And I hate to say that, I, I, I don't wanna cause alarm, but if some of the things are a little wavy gravy of the past three things that I've just suggested to you, one of the best things that you can do is hop on to next door in your community. Go on to next door, you can ask, has anyone heard of this company? Or you can look and see if that company has a business page on next door and if they have recommendations or not. The probably best way to do it is just to reach out to the company 
that you're interested in hiring and say, you know, I think I'm gonna go with you. You look like a solid handy woman, handy man, or licensed contractor. I would like some direct references. Have them send you a list of even just a couple of folks that you can reach out to. Simply by the fact that they're willing to share references is probably a good sign. I would go ahead and follow up, at least make one phone call or send one email and get some real feedback from people who have really truly used their services. I know it may sound obvious, but this is a great opportunity for you to hear firsthand if this is a reliable company. I really hope that this was useful for you. If you ever have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out via email. You can reach me at Becky at homehandy.us. We're also always available to help you take care of your small to medium sized projects, doing interior painting, cabinet painting, and minor repairs. You can check us out at www.homehandy.us to get a little bit more information. Again, I hope this is useful. Please follow through with your list and go find a contractor who you can trust. Mm -hmm.